You're watching Byline Wilmington on CBS 10 WILM. Here's your host, Don Ansel. Okay, welcome back. Our guests uh, for this first half of uh, our special uh, election 2010 series, uh, Brian Berger and uh, Rick Catlin, who are Republican candidates for New Hanover County Commission. Uh, next segment, uh, we'll introduce to you the, your Democratic counterpoints, uh, Sid Causey and uh, Deborah uh, Butler. All right, let's get to the Cape Fear Public Utility Authority. It's been cr uh, severely criticized uh, since they took over consolidation of the city, county, water, and sewer operations. Um, what's your take on the job they're doing, and what would you do if, if you were elected? We made a mistake. We, we did. We did not get it right. Uh, the, uh, the authority is, is not sustainable. It has to pay for decades of deferred maintenance with, with really no revenue source except for fees. And, and those fees are very difficult to uh, also to cover the cost of fire protection, which is not re directed directly related to usage. And they have to build eight inch lines instead of two inch lines. They have to put in fire hydrants. They have to put in a bigger water treatment plant. They have to put in a bigger uh, pipeline for fire protection. All of those things, water and sewer are basic responsibilities of the public health that local government's supposed to provide. Years ago, the life expectancy went from 30 to 70 or whatever it is today because of public water and sanitation. And we've totally divorced our responsibility for that to a, an authority that is outside any normal accountability standards. So you don't, uh, you don't think it should have been consolidated? Not that way. It, it, should, it should be consolidated as, as, a, a, government as, as a government entity. Not and, a not an independent and, authority, and, and I would like to reopen that. I'd like I'd like to try to undo what we've done, not throw the baby out with the bathwater necessarily, because we've we've got some things that have cost us a lot of money that we've got now. Of course, the, the cost wouldn't have been different had it been done another way, because all of that still had to be done, did it not? Yes, that's right. That's right. But but if we if we go through the zero based budgeting process and the continuous improvement process that I outlined earlier will find the savings within our existing budget to help take some of the burden off of the, the so people that are So you can co-mingle funds and, 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 and... That's right, not add any funds. I, I think from the savings we'd be able to take a burden off of the people that are paying extremely high Are you saying that, they sh that, that the, the county, sh uh, the, the authority should uh, uh, subsidize water uh, to, to folks without raising uh, rates? Th th that is a, a tough problem. You know, you look at Haiti, and what's the first thing the world did is they sent them water because it's a basic responsibility yeah. of public health. And, and, and the It's a pay-as-you-go, though. It is a pay-as-you-go, but it needs to be something that's affordable that is, you know, somewhat so another formula co commensurate needs. with today's economy. I believe you've been a slightly yes, I was uh, a, a, critical a, a, of that whole... Uh, I was opposed to the creation the whole thing. of so the public utility Give us your take and what you do about From it. the outset. And the reason why I oppose it from the outset is having looked at the plan as a uh, private citizen at the time, I saw a number of uh, potential problems which have now become the reality, and this is often the case with authorities regardless of where the you are. The problem being it's too expensive, is that the main problem? Problem uh, number one has to do with the lack of accountability uh, because you have uh, appointed uh, members of the board who are not necessarily and often aren't looking out for taxpayers and citizens, but have uh, their, their own uh, special interests at stake. And that's problem number one with the, the authority, the lack of accountability, which uh, Rick also talked lack about. Lack of accountability to the public through elections. That's correct. Yeah. Yes. Well, and, and, that's all right. Yeah. I'm and, just and, understanding. And, and that's uh, part of the reason, too, why uh, uh, we see uh, some of the rate hikes, too, already this year. Um, uh, some uh, environmental uh, problems uh, which uh, were cited, uh, well, pre-exist the creation of the authority, but right, so we've seen problems with the authority what would you as do well. About it? Well, I think... And I, I want to move on, but just real fast. I think the first thing that has to be done is the appointment process, and as a county commissioner, I am interested, in, very interested in being appointed to the authority because you really have to be a member of the authority board to influence what's going on at the authority right now. But there needs to be more diversity in terms of appointments so that there's somebody on that board representing taxpayers, somebody with the environmental background, 
and, and more uh, diversity in terms of expertise and looking out for taxpayers okay. on the board. You'd like to see the structure totally changed and brought back right. into the into uh, government fold? And I've already talked to uh, several city councilmen and some county commissioners that uh, I, I think we, just, we need to get together and admit we've done it wrong and to on the board or not, I think that it's time to make a change. Okay, definitely. We're almost out of time. I want to get some quick reactions from you uh -oh. um, uh, on uh, <laughs> the Skyway Superbridge. Support it, don't support it. Great idea. We can't afford it now. I, I don't support a modest bridge might be the way to go, not the Cape Fear Pine, the Skyway Bridge. All right. How about the, uh, the county's uh, contra sort of controversial uh, new solid waste disposal deal with R3, the startup company? You support that? Absolutely not. Uh, we're experimenting with taxpayers' dollars on an unproven technology with an unproven company. I agree completely with Rick. There are so many questions with this company that haven't been answered and so much at risk. Uh, it scares me. Um, it's my understanding, and for whatever that's worth, that the lone Democrat currently on the commission, Jonathan Barfield, is in line to chair the commission. Uh, if you're elected, you, you would, one or both of you will have that opportunity to vote. Uh, would you support Jonathan Barfield for chair? That remains to be seen. Uh, I, it bothers me that it's considered a done deal already. That, that would indicate that there's a, a group of three commissioners that have agreed on something and you're not supposed to get together except for two at a time unless it's a public meeting. And that doesn't seem right. I think that that should be a decision that, that is put together by like I the said, uh, entire it's, new I, board. It's my, it's my understanding. I, I, I wouldn't say anybody came and said, John the no, it's be been the said. It's uh, it's been said on the radio that Jonathan will be the next chairman. So th uh, that's not set in your mind. Not if you're elected. How about you? Uh, I agree with Rick. It's not set in stone, and uh, we'll have to see what happens uh, November second, the outcome of the election, and then I think uh, it it will be time to uh, make that consideration. We should be chairman, not before the election, when there's going to be uh, new members on the board uh, before the next chairman takes over. We're out of time. Brian well, thank Berger. you, Don. It was fun. Rick Allen, thank you so much for joining <laughs> thank us. Thank you. Good to see you both. Uh, stay with us. Uh, we've got uh, the other half and the other side of the story, uh, the other side of the aisle, actually. Uh, uh, Sid Causey and Deborah Butler, the two Democrat candidates running for the two seats up for grabs on commission, will join us right after this. <laughs>